welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in these upcoming three matches is Noob Sauce, which is a great name. He is ranked 73rd in his Platinum Division with 991 points with a record of 70 and 53. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northwest up against Noob Sauce. He is the Red Protoss player in the Northeast. The map is Shakura's Plateau, which I am happy to say is back in the 1v1 map list. Available for selection. Whatever. And yes, I did compliment him on his name. That is an awesome name. I saw it. It stands out right away. I don't know if... It's necessarily good to call yourself that, but still, I love it. Noob sauce. That's awesome. I have, however, made of awesome sauce, so I hopefully will do a little bit better in this game than he does. Of course, he is made of noob sauce, and awesome sauce outranks noob sauce. That is enough internet references for the next couple minutes. He is going for a pylon. That is a very interesting strategy considering that he is Protoss and usually the pro the pylon does finish first so who knows what he's going for right now. It is hard to say. But meanwhile, what is this? I am going for the refinery first once again since this is going to be a long game. That is what I am expecting because it is Shakura's Plateau and I am facing a Protoss player. I am expecting a long game. I am going for a different build here. Refinery is going up before the barracks. As you can see there is no barracks on this production screen. Gateway is going up for my opponent. And we both start going for a scout. I actually picked the right one. Uh, I think I've mentioned this before. I have never seen a spawning location where uh, the the two spawning locations were vertical like that. So I don't bother even checking there anymore. Simply because it just does not happen on this map. So I go straight into his base right away. And I'm not seeing much of anything here. I'm seeing an assimilator. But what I should be noticing here is the pylon. And oh, he took all his probes. No, my SCP. Oh, he never got to tell me what was going to come next. But what I should guess here is, you know, usually I don't see these two pylons out early like that. So I should assume that he's going for either a heavy uh, economic build or early zealots. And considering that there is nothing coming out of the gateway, even after it finished, I have to assume he's going for a heavy macro build. So he is... But... We do see a Cybernetics Core on the way as well. Meanwhile, I did get my first barracks up. Overall Command is on the way. As you can see, I have a ton of gas. What am I going to be doing with that? What What am I doing with that? What are you doing with that? Oh, I'm going for a bunker. And no, there's room there because I still don't have uh, an add-on on that barracks. But I do have a Marine out, and he can do some damage to that probe. Will it die? Yes, it does, especially since the second marine popped out. You notice that I never did get that add-on onto that barracks. Meanwhile, going back to his base, we are going to be seeing a second gateway. After he did see what I got in my base, he is now deciding to go for three gates. And that's it. No, there's the fourth one. Of course there's a fourth one, you guys. But I am not expecting that. Instead, I am going for a one racks three factory build. I have mentioned it so many times in my commentaries that I've never been able to show it to you guys. So hopefully this works out well for me. This is the first time that I actually got to try it in the game on a 1v1. I've done it a couple times in 2v2. It works out pretty well. Honestly, I usually end up with more aliens than I need. But that's something I'm willing to deal with. So here we go. Two factories are on the way. I did finally get a reactor on the barracks, starting to pump out massive amounts of marines because I know that this will typically give me a lot more minerals than I need. So I want to get marines out to counter that. And looking at this, now we have four gate fully up. Warp gate is not done yet, so he still actually doesn't have any army, does he? Does he? No, he's got just 25 probes. So you you four right there. Why aren't you in his base right now? 
He's getting a proxy pylon, so he is going to go for the four gate proxy pylon rush here. I say it's a rush even though it's a little bit delayed. He's got so much supply left over here. Look at that. He's 32 out of 58, and that includes these three stalkers that just came in here they warped in all the way from higher it is a long travel distance and here we go i am getting the second barracks here because i am so high in minerals but i am going for the factory the third one as well it didn't work out as well as i would have liked the armory is up early um, but once again, this is this is a new build for me. I'm still trying to experiment with it, and I've stopped producing SCVs, and there's no excuse for that. Why aren't you making? There we go, and and mule. We need a mule. There we go. Took a little bit, and here we go. He's got one sentry, one zealot, and six stalkers out on the base. Now eight stalkers are right at my expansion i don't have enough to counter this yet and i still don't have any mech which is what this build requires where is my mech are you a reactor yes you are so i am going to be getting hellions hellions are a good counter towards zealot unless of course they have charge as far as i can tell because uh when they get charged they just circle around my hellions until my hellions die that's what i've noticed but I simply do not have enough to counter this, and I am forced to GG, and that was a quick game. And this is the danger of a new build. Did I actually cancel that, that reactor? Huh. I don't remember doing that. Must have been an accident, to be honest with you, but that's the game. So, just, just a, a quick game. That's why I'm actually posting three of them today, because no, I wouldn't say that any of the games were particularly spectacular, but hey, it was a best of three, or three games in a row, I forget, I don't remember. Three games in a row, though, I definitely know that against this player, there was simply nobody on that day, and so here we go. I know that he had to go for a four gate, you know, I just knew it, I didn't need to see the replay. Just all of a sudden, there's stalkers and zealots in a, a couple of centuries. I'm like, oh, he went for 48, and I just was not prepared for it because this is this is a new build for me, and I didn't have the timings down yet. And that's the excuse I'm going with today, even though it's not very good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you in the next game, which should be uploaded right after this. Thanks for watching.